Hello, I'm Colin and here are today's headlines from Pink 60. Gay rights activists in Uganda are campaigning against homophobic abuse using slogans such as Uganda is for all of us. The head of sexual minorities Uganda, Julian Pepe, explained, we want them to know that besides what we do in the bedroom, we're also humans and need respect. A recent study from the Centers for Disease Control showed that rates of new HIV diagnoses in the US are increasing in young gay men and black men. Diagnoses of HIV and syphilis are especially high in younger black guys. A gay Iranian faces deportation to his home country where three gay men have recently been executed. The man, aged 29, fled the country after his friend was arrested as a result of a video seized by religious police allegedly showing the men kissing. Cuba has hosted its first marriage between a man and a transsexual woman. The bride, Wendy Iriepa, has been legally recognised as a woman since undergoing surgery as part of a pilot programme making gender reassignment procedures part of Cuba's universal healthcare system. And finally, rock legend George Michael started off his Symphonica tour by revealing that he and long-term partner Kenny Goss separated over two years ago. The pair met in 1996 and there have been many rumours in recent years over a possible breakup. That's all from us today. Join us again tomorrow.